hey y'all it's costume jewelry you know what time it is it's time to go thrift we're going into this thrift center it's church affiliated we are we've been in here before and done video but we're gonna go in here and check it out and see if there's any purses or jewelry for resale on YouTube and eBay so hit that notification bell and click all so you don't miss on live buy nows and auctions of purses and jewelry on my channel subscribe to the channel and click a thumbs up for this video and let's go see what they've got we we'll also look back at the knickknacks, paddywhacks, doodads, trinkets, whatever you want to call them. So you never know what the selection's going to be in this store. You could be surprised. Or I could. I guess y'all could too since you're shopping with me. This is kind of a cute purse. I bet it's handmade. Inside looks kind of like a picnic basket style. But really colorful. What is this bad boy? Is this got a name on it? Let's see, Nine West. I'm hoping when we get up to the jewelry section that they have lots of new jewelry. Because usually they will have brooches. I've seen a couple times where they had tons of brooches. This is vintage. And this one right here is missing one of the stones. It's a beautiful silver color. Nearly a carpet bag style purse. What is this? Authentic design. M authentic design. Well, what does that mean? I don't know. Let's see. You probably you probably can't see it. There's the brand on that. Mitzi, made in China. Don't know anything about that brand. And then this little purse. Is this one here. Huh. Now this is probably vintage too. Filling on the bottom. Looks like behind the counter they have the most beautiful purses. Are you in line, sir? No. So a couple of coach patent leather pink. Looks like there might be about three coach bags there, but I'm really interested. There looks like there's four, the purple one too. That's pretty cool. I like the pink one though. Looks like it's a matching, maybe it's a wristlet. I'm trying to get more Halloween done tonight so that I can get the Halloween display up and going, but you know that I've got to thrift. Got to thrift. I cannot not do a daily video. Lots of necklaces here. You definitely got to pay attention to the detail of the necklaces because when one may not look like it's worthwhile, it very well may be. You just never know. Never, never know. And lots of times I've cut off a video without looking at all the jewelry. We've seen this one many times. Only to find something great. These are all glass. Which if you'd like to remake your own jewelry, that would probably be worth getting. Love it. So we'll get that one. It's vintage. It's a little bit faded on the chain, but it doesn't matter. Still a beautiful necklace. I like it when it's faded a little bit. Just gives it character. Gives it a little bit of character. What is this? Made with love that says. 
Let me zoom in on that just so you guys can see it up close. Now here's another very heavy vintage cross necklace. Love that chain. That chain might be gold filled. I'm not sure, but we'll check it out. But I think I'm going to pick that one up too, or peck it up. So I am probably going to get this one. I don't know if this is really amber or not, but I'm not going to take the chance and leave it. You guys can comment below and let me know if you think this is real amber. I'm going to show you the back of it. We're going to get a little shine on there so that you can see the dimensions of the back. And then I'm going to show you up close to the front as best we can. Tiger eye around the edge. It's a leather necklace. But I do like buying amber, so I don't want to leave it thinking that it's not amber when it very well may be. Um, and I will test that when I get home. But look at that edge of that right there. It's a pretty good shot. What is this little booger? Oh, that's pretty. Lots of crosses this trip. Lots of crosses this trip. Sometimes you find whole collections of things that people are probably giving up. Let's see, is that designer signed? No, it's not. That does not always matter. But it's fun to find designer signed things. Now this right here looks like gold filled, guys. Look at this little treasure. So this is Swank. You guys have seen Swank before. I've sold it S-W-A-N-K. It's backwards there, but you can kind of see it. I don't see anything that shows that it's gold filled, but it does look gold filled to me. But regardless, we're going to get it. So AD is the initial. I thought there for a minute that was RD, but it's not. But I don't see any gold filled marks. But this is either, I don't know, you guys let me know what you think this is. Watch. I don't know if it hooks to a tie up here at the top. And then your keys hook at the bottom. I'll show you that. Maybe your keys hook at the bottom. I don't know. So it holds a watch or keys or something, but it's an interesting piece. You could use this for costume, or if you dress like 1920s, 1940s, this would be a great accessory piece for that man in your life. For sure. So we're going to pick that one, or we're going to pack that up. So what we say, pack it up. Interesting fat chain. It's not super heavy, though. Out of the pieces I'm packing up, let me know what your favorites are. The ones that I put in my basket so far, a couple cross necklaces. This is really pretty. And the watch. The watch holder, I believe is what that is. This is really nice. This looks vintage. These are all glass. Let's see. This is designer marked. What does it say? 1928 so it's not vintage but it had us fooled now is this gold filled i don't know thought this might be gold filled i love the design of this not sure what that chain link is called but if y'all know tell me now this is not designer marked but this is stunning to me this looks vintage it looks like it might be pewter not sure if it is or not but i love it and guess what happens when i love something Guess where it goes? If you know where it goes, comment below. I'm gonna pack this one up. It's going home with CJ. Look how pretty that is. Show you the detail, look at that. So there's a little bit of fading on it, but not much. It's a lobster clasp. At the top, that stone is mesmerizing to me. Again, that's the third cross necklace I bought today. That's very nice. Look at all those torques. I swear the more I turn this the more I turn this little thing, the more necklaces I find. Now that's a beautiful one right here, the gold tone. It's interesting design. The gold tone's not faded on it. I wonder if it's designer marked. Let's see, I don't see a designer mark on it. I think 
somebody sold their entire collection of torque necklaces. I do think so. Let's see here, what else we've got, if anything. A huge ceramic bead necklace. Interesting. What is this? Let's see if it's designer signed. I don't see anything for it. And then look at this cute elephant. This looks old. I don't know if it is or not. I don't see a mark. I love. I love the seat. It's a different color than the elephant, but look at the necklace. So it's a snake chain necklace. Gold tone. We're going to look at the clasp to see if it might be designer signed. This one is a tough one to decide, guys, but I think I'm going to leave it behind. This is at the Thrift Center in Seminole, Florida. So if you're close by and you like this, go get it. It's a beautiful chain, beautiful pendant. Look at these old locks. So I won't get them out, but look at this. We're going to see if we show you up close. Aren't those gorgeous? I believe it's a lot of great artwork and I love that they have the keys to them. I don't have anything to lock up with an old lock. Do you have a suggestion box at the Airbnb that one of these would go great with? I'm just not sure if it would be too large. So we're gonna pass on those, but aren't they beautiful? Look at these bracelets real quick and see if there's anything that we can't live without. You just never know. We've learned together before things that I've passed up that I wish I hadn't. Some of these pieces of jewelry in here they've had for a while, and I'll show you one of them that's really interesting to me. Here's the bells. So look at these bell earrings. They're $45. They're sterling silver. You've got some Siam here. Siam's pretty expensive. Yeah, when you're thrifting with me, you're thrifting right beside me because I'm looking at everything at the same time that I show it to you. At the same time. What are all these little things? So now we're looking at the what naughty doodaddy knick-knacky stuff. Look at that. Vintage Lipper and Man Blue Spaghetti Poodles. I know nothing about that brand. if those are salt and pepper shakers so the penguins look like um what do they look like and they look like eggplant Theme. Also, a reminder to the shoppers who are here now. A recurring theme. Day late and a dollar short, always. 10 o'clock until 5 tomorrow and Wednesday. This is only for the hurricane affected area of Fort Myers. So, if you'd like to help, we'd appreciate it. Again, thank you so much. Let's see what else they've got here. There's a big. Um, Sterling chain there for twenty or fifty-five dollars. I can already see out the corner of my eye they don't have a lot of new brooches. But I want to take you through the knick-knacky, what naughty, do daddy stuff. Because I know you ladies love that, and I do too. That's why we have a lot in common. We love to shop and thrift and buy things. And look at these beautiful brooches. 
Okay, look at this one. I love this one. I don't know how much it is though, but it's the purple one right here in the center. Look at that. Six dollars. Beautiful, beautiful. And behind the coach purse, also spy an Egyptian revival type purse. It has like an Egyptian pharaoh head on it. But I want to check those out before we close this video out. Also, I'll look at some more knickknacks over here just to see if there's anything else. You just never know. Lots to see. This is another one of the souvenir glasses like I had in that other video. It said $18.95. This doesn't have a date on it, but anytime you find these glasses, they are souvenirs from the World Fair. So even though it doesn't have a date, that's probably late 1800s. So this beautiful bag here does not have a designer mark on it. I believe it to be real leather. And we are gonna get it. And here's why, because I love this. Love those, love anything Egyptian, jewelry, snake bracelets, purses. So this is a shoulder bag. I'm gonna try to show you. And it's pretty large. It's probably about 13 inches tall. So for sure, we're not gonna pass that one up. That's just too beautiful. So we are going to get it. And this beautiful coach handbag. Now that they moved these purses, I'm kind of curious as to what this one is. You know, it's more like a motorcycle biker purse. I kind of like finding those type bags and buying them. Now we have this pink patent leather coach purse. It's pretty, but it's got some issues with it. So we're gonna pass on it, but I wanted to show it to you anyway. But we are getting that Egyptian one, so if you like that Egyptian one, comment below. Comment, comment, comment. So this is a little bit of a different shoulder bag. I've never seen anything like this before, but I'm sure you ladies have has a lot of bling on it. There's the front, here's the back. But I guess that would just sit comfortably under your shoulder. That's really nice. Although it's really nice, we're gonna pass on it. But if you like it, comment below. Very old pair of binoculars right there. And then you have, guess what this is guys, Rebecca Minkoff, isn't that beautiful? $60. Great condition on the inside, comes with the dust bag, that's stunning, I love that. And look at this gorgeous vintage leather bag here, handbag. Look how pretty that is. A little bit of wear right there, but I don't care. I'm getting it. Look at that. I'll bring that for sale on my channel, so you don't want to miss out. So hit that notification bell and click all. Let me show you the clasp real quick. This cl clasp on the old bags are always so nice to me. And interesting, so gold tone, beautiful bag gorgeous but you got that little bit of a tear right there i don't know i think that's still resellable i think somebody would still love that and there you go i'm i'm definitely a collector of vintage bags i love to buy them get them out of the thrift store arena and back to you because i know a lot of people probably love these type bags but we are going to get that one too if you're looking for furniture too this store has tons of furniture and sometimes very antique furniture you just don't know unless you come look because there could be antique furniture in here. Furniture that you could redo if you're artsy like that. $3.95, look how beautiful that is.
Lots of artwork too. I always take a quick look at the artwork. I don't need any of it, but I still, I still will look. Especially when I used to sell in the antique store. I would look a lot in the games. We are gamed out at the Airbnb. You guys know it. You've seen the game closet. We are gamed out. There's no more room for games at the Airbnb. I always like to look for comforters, crocheted blankets, the things that you would, you know, just use when you're on the couch watching a movie. What is this? An old cork board. Looks like oak. Three dollars. Now that's pretty cool. Look at that. They're going to be hitting us with a last call in a minute. A last call. We don't like those last calls. 25th anniversary. That'd be kind of cool to give that to somebody on their anniversary. And these right here you've seen before. And I've told you that this design sometimes is sterling silver. You just have to look for the mark. Not all of them are. But for the most part, they could be. So I always look for the mark to see if there's Mark Sterling 925. I've had a lot of friends when I used to live outside. Look how old this is. Five dollars. Decorate their tables up with these different pieces. And I think these are beautiful. Isn't that so pretty? For five dollars. I mean, who whoever would think you'd buy that for five dollars? Limoges, France, $6.50. Let's see if this one's old. Or not old, but vintage, antique. We'll see. I don't see any marks for it. Still beautiful, though. This one's left in China, $3. And look at this beautiful vintage piece for $3 too, a creamer. And guess what? Look at the bottom. Look at this. Blue Danube. Mm, look at this. Beautiful wood carving, $10. piggy bank and look at this cute little pig and look at that serving bowl pier one imports 15 hardly ever do i find these pieces that aren't broken so i'm going to show you guys what i got so make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell click all so you don't miss out on buy it now so of auctions and auctions of jewelry and purses on my channel give this video a thumbs up i'll show you real quick what i bought what is this is this for cheese maybe it just says kangaroo Looks old though. So here's what I bought. What I'm buying. You saw the uh, purse. Hold on. You saw the Egyptian purse. We have this vintage purse here. I'm going to do that one. Oops. Got this cross necklace. I get tangled up in the basket too. This cross necklace. They do get tangled up. This that I'm hoping is amber. They get really tangled. This cross necklace. And then we've got um, whatever this is that looks like a it's swank, but it might be a belt. 
I mean, I'm sorry, something to hold your watch. So that's all we got, guys. Until next time, we'll see y'all later.